objectives for this part one module is that you would be able to identify the three major categories of power scaling, list top three unique features of piezo power scaling, describe the mechanism of action of piezo, and evaluate the critical role of amplitude on cleaning efficiency. There are three types of power scaling technology. The first is sonic. An example of that would be Titan. The sonic scaler uses compressed air. It's connected to the delivery system and the compressed air excites the metal stacks, creating uh, erratic vibrations and a tip motion or tip movement at 2,000 to 6,000 times per second. In the category of ultrasonics would be magnetostrictive. That would be an example of Cavitron, where electrical current is applied to the ferromagnetic stacks, creating an elliptical tip vibration of 25,000 to 30,000 times per second. And then piezoelectric would be another type of ultrasonic, and an example of that is the neutron, which you have at your school. In that situation, there is an electric current that is applied to the ceramic discs that are in the handle, creating linear tip motion, and that's at 28,000 to 36,000 cycles per second. The top three features of piezo are that you use the lateral surfaces of the tip. It's very much like using a universal curette where you have both lateral sides available to you. It's not like a Gracie. Gracie's only have one cutting edge where the universal curette has lateral sides that you're using. So for example, you can transfer your skills in thinking about using a Columbia 1314 or 4R4L or a Barnhart 566. They're all um, examples of universal curettes and you use both lateral sides. Likewise, with the piezo, you will use both lateral sides and you will not be using the back of the instrument. The second unique feature is that you will use the piezo with a zero to five degree angle or tilt on the tooth. If you learned on magneto first, typically you use that at a 15 degree angle. So when you're using the piezo, you'll want to close your angle a little bit using a zero to five degree tilt on the tooth. And the third unique feature is drop by drop water irrigation. Because the coolant is cooling the crystals in the handpiece that do not generate the same amount of heat as the ferromagnetic rod uh, stacks that are on Cavitron type systems and magneto systems, you need about 50% less water. The mechanism of action are the piezo ceramic discs that are in the handpiece. The electrical current excites the four discs and the energy travels through the handpiece, creating a linear motion of the tip. How does ultrasonics work? There are two basic features. One is the frequency and the next is amplitude. The frequency tells us how frequently or the number of times the tip moves back and forth in one second. This is not something that you control. This is something that the circuitry controls for you. What you can control, however, is the amplitude and that tells us the distance or length of the movement. And so for a shorter distance on the tip, it's low power. For a longer distance of the tips, it would be high power. So the amplitude tells you the stroke length and that is determined by how you set the power level. With the neutron system, the low power is green. So for example, the tip that you have in your kits, the H3, would be used on green. Each tip from neutron has a color-coded ring so that there's no guesswork whatsoever about the power level. The medium power level is yellow, and high power for the tips that you have, the number one, the number one S, and the 10Z, are the blue ring tips. With these tips, you can, the maximum color range is blue, or you can always turn the power down lower, but never higher. This is an example of what the linear stroke looks like under a video microscope. So here, the power goes from low to high, and you can see the length of the stroke is becoming longer. The amplitude or that stroke length is really cl very critical for cleaning. So you can see that on the left side that the stroke length at high power, when you measure a business card, it's about the same distance. 
So this is a great visual to think about that that stroke length is only the thickness of a business card on high power. And that's regardless of the technology that's the same for Magneto as well as Piezo. But what that means is that our actual technique needs to be overlapping strokes to cover every square millimeter of the tooth. There are effects of tip wear on amplitude. For example, over time, tips, the tips do wear, again, whether it's Magneto or Piezo. When they may wear one millimeter, they are only 75% efficient. If they wear two millimeters, then they are only 50% efficient. So it's really critical for clinicians to measure their tips to make sure that they're working at the maximum capacity. If not, they can actually cause harm to the patient and harm to the clinician. For the patient, if the tips are worn, you'll see burnished calculus, the deposits not removed, and infection can continue. For clinicians, they tend to press harder, which dampens the amplitude. They grip tighter, which causes fatigue, strain of the hand and wrist, and potentially carpal tunnel. So how does the piezo specifically work and how does, it, how does it move, for example? So we know that it's linear, back and forth motion. The calculus is removed by a pulverizing type of action. And so what you'll see is a grainy, sandy appearance as the calculus is coming off, as opposed to Magneto, you know, where you'll see more um, chips or chunks coming off. And you, again, we'll review that we're using the lateral sides. The angulation is a zero to five degree angle. Our irrigation is a drip flow. And the grasp is about the same as a periodontal probe, about 20 grams, it's, it's very light. And someone should be able to come and just lift the handpiece right out of your hand as you're using it. So it's a very light, relaxed grasp. And the stroke technique would be overlapping one to two millimeters. The Neutron has features that are, are unique to piezo, and in particular, the constant drive. So with the constant drive, that's like the cruise control on your car. So even though you engage a piece of calculus, it's not going to back off. Also unique to your Neutron is that it will require only 50% less water than a Cavitron, so that can help with your visibility and comfort for the patient. With the tip design, there are over 80 tips from which to select for various treatments, including scaling, endo, minimally invasive uh, restorative dentistry. For the purposes of these presentations, we're talking about scaling. And each of the tips from Acteon, the Neutron tips, will be color coded. And that color coding helps you to establish what the power level, the maximum power level is for that particular tip. This concludes the first module for piezo power scaling.